It's just stuff that I do behind her back that she doesn't like. It's kind of live day by day and see what happens. Applying for credit cards, buying stuff that is too expensive. That's a lot of money to be spending. I don't see that. I just can't see it. You can't see it because no, you don't do the numbers. <laughs> she says uh, if this doesn't stop, we might end up going our separate ways. I could very well be a bag lady, and that does concern me. We're talking a horrible future if we don't yeah. fix it now. It's upsetting me, too. My name is Tony. I drive a truck and I deliver photocopiers. I'm Gail and I'm a computer software consultant. Any money that we take out of the bank is usually something to do with the car club that we're in. For me, it's more social than it is for winning prizes and trophies and money, although that would help. I spend money foolishly sometimes. I mean, I don't know where the last hundred dollars went. He doesn't quite understand what I'm going through. I pay all the bills. It's kind of been an off switch for Tony. It's annoying. I'm always trading up cars. The worst thing I've ever done was about that truck. We buy stuff that we shouldn't buy, like our timeshare. We bought a timeshare that we don't use with a credit card. I met Gail nine, well, almost 10 years ago. And about nine years ago, I had no debt, and it's got to stop. I got to help her out one of these days, because I might lose her if I don't. I have thought of packing things up and just saying, it's been real. Bye. She's made a difference in my life. I can't think of anybody else I'd want to be with. So. Hopefully, with Gail's help, it won't happen. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Gail and Tony are like a couple of big kids, spending thousands of dollars every month on their toys. They even bought a $22,000 timeshare with a credit card. Pushing 50, their retirement and their relationship is in jeopardy. So I'm here to bring them back down to earth. Gail Vaz Oxley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm Gail. Good to meet you. Tony. A quick tour of their home shows me there's not a lot of extravagant spending here. So where's the money monster? Wow. That would be in the garage. Big car. Oh, she's getting in. Whoa. This is quite the toy you have. <laughs> Golf clubs. This is an expensive sport. But this is even more expensive. This is a hood from one of their old show cars. This hobby. It's very expensive. So the best place to start is for you to tell me, how do you feel about where you are right now with the money? I find that some nights I'm not sleeping. I'll end up coming down here on the couch and stressing about it for a while and then finally falling asleep. Right. I have no problem sleeping at night. I just go to bed. And I had a funny mm -hmm. feeling you were going to say like that, Tony. My head's like on a pillow and I'm there. OK. So you know, this falls right into what I've been seeing. Okay, because I looked at your finances, six months worth of your paperwork, and I looked at your tapes. You're managing most of the money yourself, but you feel like you're between a rock and a hard place. Absolutely. Because you don't like saying no to Tony, mm -hmm. but there are months when you think to yourself, I can't do this. I often give in because he hasn't always had as free a lifestyle as I've had. He's a good guy in all aspects, but the financial one. And I'm going to try and rein him in. <laughs> what I also see is that you have a hobby that you're both in love with. Yeah. <laughs> We're always going to a show, to a meet, to dinner, coffee. And there was that whole timeshare thing on the credit card. <laughs> and you golf, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we try. <laughs> you have a pretty fun lifestyle. You're having so much fun, you're not thinking for a minute about the future. No. no. Like most people, Gail and Tony think of their income in gross dollars before tax and their expenses in net dollars. I'm going to put things into perspective. I can't believe how big a percentage of your budget goes to play. For example, your cable is costing you 
$1,500 a year, which is equivalent of $2,000 a year in gross income. Your vacation, $3,000 a year. That's a lot of money to be spending, the equivalent of $4,000 on vacation. Well, we're paying maintenance fees and condo fees and all that kind of stuff for something we're not even using. Your beautiful show car. Wow. $7,000 a year net, almost $10,000 gross. Adds up quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> and you're right. Yeah. And you know what? It's little things, and that's what's happening to you. Yeah. You know, you put $70 worth of electronics in it. Then what's the big deal? $70. It's not a big deal. You put $91 of electronics in. It's not a big deal. Another $22 from the auto shop. Not a big deal. Add it up. <laughs> it's a lot. Your hobbies, your sports, your phone, your total play cost is almost $22,000 net, net, or $29,500 gross, almost $3,000 more a year than Tony makes. Ay, 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 ay. It's a lot. How much do you think you're over budget every month? I haven't any idea. You estimated $350. You're spending more than 10 times <laughs> that. You're over budget $3,600 every month. Wow. I don't see that. I just can't see it. You can't see it because no, you I'm... don't do the numbers. <laughs> oh, she I'm sees doing. it. She can't sleep. Yeah. You keep this up. What do you think is going to happen in five years? $650,000 in debt. That's crazy. My stomach lurched. It was unbelievable to be over half a million dollars in debt. So you have some tough decisions that you're going to have to make. Mm -hmm. If you're prepared to do it, I can help you. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Okay. Whatever it takes, yes. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay, so I have your promise that you Never. will follow through with me on this? Absolutely. I have a promise, yes. yes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to slash your expenses. We're going to teach you how to have fun that doesn't cost you $23,000 a year. And ultimately, we're gonna plan for the future because you guys don't have all that much time left. I'm ready for it. All right, yeah. so the very next thing I need you to do then is get me your credit cards. Coming up, credit roadkill. <laughs> it's a wake up call for Gail and Tony. They've been spending more than Tony's entire income on having fun. You're over budget $3,600 every month. Ay, 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 ay. At this rate, they aren't going to have anything when they're ready to retire. I don't want to be a bag lady. Have you ever tasted your cat food? Mm, no, and I don't particularly want to. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I will reward them with thousands of dollars to pay down their debt. No changes, no money. No! No! Well, that one hurts. Oh, no! Now that you have no credit cards, you have to learn to live on cash. That'll be first. In each of these jars is the money you will be allowed to spend this week. I have cut your variable expenses by 60%. Which is more in line with what you're making. So this week you're gonna have $21.25 for clothing, $150 for food, $25 for entertainment, go ahead, have a party! And $62.50 for transportation. $47.50 for everything else. Because you're working with cash, you need to write everything down, which is why you get the budget binder. Okay. And in the budget binder, you will write everything that you spend money on. So know that you're probably going to get crabby with each other. No. And I don't want to hear, whose idea was it to bring Gail in here anyway? <laughs> so far, Gail and Tony are on board but they'll have to make some tough choices to live on the budget I've given them. They may not like their options. This is a nice car. It's our pride and joy. And this week, I have a very nice challenge for you. The debt reduction challenge. 
sort of a get real thing. When I come back next week, here's what I want to see. I want to see either you're well on the way to divesting yourself of the things that are costing you money you can't afford, okay. or that you have a plan for a sustainable increase in your income. Either one will satisfy me. Be mean, but she's being true. She, she's, she's telling us what we have to do. Selling the vacation timeshare they never use is a no-brainer, eliminating $20,000 in debt and monthly maintenance fees. I'd like to talk to her about my timeshare. Okay, could I leave a message for her to call me? Good afternoon, is Colleen there, please? Could I leave a message for Colleen to call me? The real challenge here is getting hold of an agent. Oh, okay, could I leave a message? The truly difficult choice is whose four-wheel toy will have to go. I'm gonna try and do anything I can possible to keep the student. That would be like selling a child to me. Tony's truck was the loser because of the high lease payment. I don't want to get rid of this truck, but I mean, I know I have to. Her show vehicle, it's almost paid off more than this one is. We've kind of run into a little financial difficulty and we were wondering whether we could get out of our truck lease. Trying to avoid the costs and penalties, Gail and Tony got creative. The pictures came out pretty good for the yeah. timeshare. So is the truck too. You know, it'll get the point across that we're trying to have this lease taken over. So what's the piece of paper you're holding on to? Well, this is the little flyer that uh, I made up. And we also called the dealership and they've said basically they can't do anything for us. We can't get out of the lease unless we have it bought out. I went online myself to a couple classified sites that uh, were free. So yes. I put my ad up on the internet for the truck. I right. put a couple flyers up at work, one for the truck, one for the timeshare. Okay. Uh, and I actually had some feedback on timeshare. Good. We did a lot of talking last weekend. More talking than you have done the whole Ever. time you were married. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gail and Tony have made some progress. I'm about to shock them with the reality of what their retirement could be like if they only have government pensions to live on. You will net about $2,200 a month wow. between you. After your fixed expenses, your mortgage, mm -hmm. and all that, how much do you think you have left a week to spend if you're living on government benefits? Nothing. <laughs> That's not nothing. that bad. <laughs> what you would have left is $125 a week. That's what you get to live on this week. <laughs> Can you imagine what it would be like? No, I don't want to be there. Just to make sure you see how important this is. You have to find a way to make an extra $600 a month, $75 a week each, so that you can build that retirement nest egg that you need. Because sad but true, you'll die. And I'll be left. And you'll be left alone. Because that's what guys do. Guys die, women get sick. So if you don't have a plan in place, the sad reality is, you're just gonna be one of the mass of poor widowed women who has no means to eat. This is pretty serious. It is. Yeah. We're talking a horrible future if we yeah. don't fix it now. It's upsetting me too. Yes, and I'm sorry I'm upsetting you. I don't mean to be upsetting you. I mean it's to be telling you the truth, okay? Yeah. This is the truth. If Gail and Tony don't stop spending like overgrown kids, they'll be in big trouble when they want to retire. $650,000 in debt. Ay, 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 ay. To give them a glimpse of where they could be heading, this week I've given them only their social security benefits to live on. What you would have left is $125 a week. To avoid that bleak future, their challenge this week is to earn an extra $600 for their nest egg and I'll help out with $5,000 if they complete all my challenges. This area has to be cleared. I was scared because I just don't want Gail being by herself with no money. I've also challenged them not just to make extra money, but to do it together. The term I think she said was pay now, play later versus play now, pay later. I 
was feeling good because we had managed to meet both of our challenges. And it wasn't as deadly hard as I thought it was going to be. Did you manage to get to the end of the week before you got to the end of $125? We sure did. Did you think you could do it when I left you with $125? No. Bucks? no. There so was no way. what happened? How did you manage to do it? Uh, we're careful with what we spent. Yeah. Yes. And we actually did some repairs on the house. Yeah. Because <laughs> you had nothing else to do. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> As a general rule of thumb, you need a retirement income of about 75% of your current income. So start planning now. Did you make any money this week? We sure did. We did. Asked a friend of ours who owns a carpeting place to hire us on. Right. And he said, no problem at all. Actually, he yeah. offered. He offered, We yeah. told him our situation, right. and he offered and said, yeah. you can start immediately. It was good being together. It was. Yes. If I'd separated you and made you go do just separate jobs, <clears throat> not so much fun. We no. wouldn't have got as much out of it. Yeah. Okay, good. Who knew they'd have fun in a warehouse? For their next challenge, I'm going to keep forcing these two out of their comfort zone. You know, there's more than one way to have fun on four wheels. <laughs> Jump on your bikes and follow me. It's time for some cheap thrills. All right. <laughs> These two are going to learn something about having fun. That doesn't cost a lot of money. <laughs> Revved up by that bike ride, Gail and Tony head downtown to join a walking tour of the city. Final destination? Some laughs at the pub with new friends. You know, I run with such and such a group. We're, here. We're having an okay time. You're beer calling. <laughs> she wants the beer, but <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming up, but the other great thing, the really great thing. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Gail and Tony's hobby cars provide them with excitement. <sighs> Coming through like power. But they're paying a high price for their kicks. You're over budget, $3,600 every month. They've been having a great time since getting together nine years ago, but only one of them knows what it's costing. I don't pay any bills. She does it all. I've challenged them to stop spending on fun or face a grim retirement. You're just going to be one of the mass of widowed women who has no means to eat. i got to help her out one of these days because I don't want her to leave. If they can complete all my challenges, I'll give them up to $5,000. So we've been together for about four weeks? Mm -hmm. Four weeks. Tell me what you learned, Tony. Well, I've learned how to go on the computer and uh, pay bills. Good. How to have fun with Gail out without spending money and that sort of stuff. Are you feeling better yes. about what he is doing to help the whole situation? He's stepped up to the challenge. Good. And it's made us closer. Good. Yeah. And what did you learn this month? The big eye-opener, I think, was the jars. Yes. And what we were spending every week and not accounting for. Good. Okay, so, you know, those are all worthwhile lessons. Well, Definitely. Yes, very much. Because when I got here, you were headed for $650,000 in debt. You would probably have lost the house. And I don't know that your relationship would have been able to stand it. No. But we turned it around. We did. We did. Okay. Mm -hmm. We stemmed that excess spending. We have found a way to pay the debt down. It's going to take you a while. Yes. You're going to put about $1,400 a month toward consumer debt repayment. Yeah. By eliminating the vacation timeshare and selling that truck, Gail and Tony will turn the future around. Four years from now, they'll be out of debt. But that's not all. The really great thing is that you're saving now. Yeah. Exactly. exactly yeah. $100 a month for emergency. Mm -hmm. How much for your retirement? $700. Good girl. $800 a month in total. You stick that away in an RSP every year. You reinvest your tax refund mm -hmm. at about 5%. Over 20 years, you will have six hundred thousand dollars saved so look at what we did we went from having 650 in debt mm -hmm. to having six hundred thousand dollars in assets you learned that you can't just have a great time playing yeah. 
without considering what the future is going to hold. True. And you learn to work together as a team. Have some fun. Yes. Make some extra money to buy the extra things you want. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All good lessons? Very, Very good, good lessons. Yeah. Think you learned them well? Yes. I think so. I do too. And so, for you, I have a check for $5,000. No way. Oh, great. Woo! Yahoo! Thank you! <laughs> this will go towards paying down your debt. Absolutely. Start with your most expensive debt first. Sure. Tony. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <then>. Okay. <laughs> but I have something else for you as well. Because I'm putting you on a pretty stringent budget that you're going to have to live with for some time, I have also arranged for you to have once a week dinner out on me for the next few months. Wow! Thank you. Very much. Okay. Thank so you. you. Can go have your romantic dinners and it won't cost you a cent. Woohoo! That's great. Thank okay. you. Very much. Thank you. This is a personal trophy. That's pretty nice to come into that much money at the end, knowing that we're saving it all on that. Compared to and zero. Yeah. It's a bonus. It is. And worth it. <laughs>